CERN activated in 2022 and this July we started seeing a bunch of crazy stuff and even some of the weathermen was talking about like some of this stuff wasn't natural now we've looked into the cloud machine a recreation device that they've used because we've looked around and seen not just Switzerland started flooding the same month but India started flooding China started having floods the United States started having floods and then we just started to see a global thing pick up and not just CERN activation but even in South Dakota, the CERN of South Dakota activated. And here's a picture of what the sky looked like. And even a weatherman who was talking about this said this didn't look normal. He said this wasn't the normal, just actual thing that you usually see. So like I said, South Dakota are now saying we're ready. We are preparing our dark matter research underground. And we're going to show you official images of what that underground research looks like. Right here is where the actual underground lab is at. And they're saying that they did this experiment years ago, but they just didn't have enough energy to put out the power needed for what they were doing. So now that we've gotten you that far, we have to tell you the big piece of information next. What is CERN doing uh, with the atmosphere? Because a lot of people talk about weather modification and stuff, but they don't get deeper into it. Well, in a lot of their new research and studies, they have been discovering so much about our atmosphere. And they even have this machine that I'm about to tell you about here in just a second. So this is what CERN said. Newly formed aerosol particles are ubiquitous throughout the upper troposphere. But the vapors and mechanisms that drive the formation of these particles are not well understood, explains cloud spokesperson Jasper Kirkby. This was in 2021. Now, CERN has this cloud chamber which does so much different things to the atmosphere. And this guy right here literally tells you exactly what that is. So we're about to play this clip here of him telling you what is going on here. And the question is, is CERN messing with our atmospheres and what's happening in our basically flooding, different things happening? This should answer a question or at least make you think about it twice. Is uh, a large stainless steel chamber uh, where we recreate part of the atmosphere and it's a very very clean chamber we've worked very hard to make uh, the inside and so on very clean and we recreate part of the atmosphere including the trace gases and temperatures and so on inside that chamber and we look at um, the effect of the particle beam from the CERN proton synchrotron on the production of the seeds for cloud droplets the fundamental motivation for cloud is there seem to be observations that uh, when a cosmic ray goes through the atmosphere, it may affect cloud formation. Uh, but at the moment, we have no idea what the mechanism is. So we've designed cloud to actually study what happens, uh, what is the possible connection between So that gives you an outlook on things. And we have about 30,000 accelerators across the freaking world. That doesn't mean all of them work very well. The top ones are the one in operation. But the fact that CERN is even atmospherically doing different things is showing you that whenever they light up, and again, it's electromagnetic energy, so obviously it transfers around the world and different things start to happen. And in the meanwhile, you know, all this happening in Switzerland and in the middle of the chaos is something else happening where they're looking for some Nazi money that's just went basically either missing or they're just going on a treasure hunt. And this was at a Switzerland bank. So while they're firing up CERN, here we are, you know, they knock down the Georgia guy stones and then next thing you know, they're looking for Nazi money. And so here's the documented files talking about it and everything. We're going to pull that up here for you in just a second. So they got the documented files here and it's, it's pretty much crazy what's going on. Here's the documented files. We're pulling it up right now. And so this is all going on in the background while CERN is activating stuff. It's a lot of crazy stuff going on here. And all the pieces and puzzles are coming out here. And everything is just looking so strange and mysterious lately. That's why we've been looking deeper into all of this. And we're going to get even further down into this. So stick around. JW TV show and we'll have more videos that we broke down a lot of information on the left hand side. Please get the video out and thanks for tuning in to this live report today.